your bacon. Beans. Freeze dried beans. Hello. Well, today we're going to do beans. I already froze them, cooked them, froze them, um, and then they've been in the freezer for a long time. <laughs> so, anyway, um, <clears throat> I'll have three trays of beans. And because I cooked a whole, it was like a five pound, I don't know if it was a five pound bag, but it was a big bag of them. And then <laughs> I already froze them with, uh, when I cooked them, I cooked them with ham hocks. And so obviously we have these ham hocks in there that are big. I'm, I'm just going to put them in the freeze dryer like that, see what happens to the everything, the bone and everything else. It probably won't work right, but um, I really don't, I really don't want to mess with it. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> turn the freeze dryer on. Uh, we'll let you see that <laughs> and then we'll go from there. So there it is. There's a little happy freeze dryer. So we're gonna reach around the edge here this on mine. Oh, oh. Uh, there's a you can't see it but there's a switch in the back <clears throat> and then <coughs> this will come on. Let's see it better. <laughs> I still have to get it updated. I really do. And then we're gonna start. It's not liquid. It is pre-frozen. And it's gonna pre-freeze. So before we do that, I'm gonna go, well, there's, again, I'm waiting. Up. I can't even see it back here, can you? Hey, uh, can you see that thing back there? I'm gonna flip it so it's up and down like this. I doubt you're gonna be able to see it when I do it. I'm just, ugh. Let's see that. Yeah, that should plug it, right? So, there, couldn't see that. Anyway, now it's plugged, so. All right, so that's ready to go. Then, ugh, welcome to my freezer. So, I have this on pre-freeze, the freeze dryer. This stuff is already frozen, which is nice, because now how it's set up, I can just, Oh, that's nice to have it that close. I was fighting about getting it out of my kitchen. I didn't want to. And there's a big hunk of ham right there. Um, <clears throat> okay, now here's the questionable one here. And I know it's not going to do it, but I'm gonna, I don't want to mess with it. So if I can... Oh, can't even fit it in there. Well, that's... <laughs> hmm. Anyway. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'll fight with that from the, the other one another day. I put the pillow in. If you have a pillow, I like the pillow. Do that. It's already pre-freezing, and then it'll go into the freeze mode. I think I may have to push the button when it's done pre-freezing for it to kick into the freeze mode, <laughs> and then it'll do the dry freeze drying thing. And then when they're done, we'll get that. So this little hmm, right here, like I said, this is actual ham hocks and stuff. And I was just gonna do an experiment with that. Um, when it's in big clumps like that, you don't want that anyway. But I was hoping that I could just kind of bully it in there, and it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to take some time to break that down and get it small enough that um, you can see where it's in. This is just where it's in the freezer. So um, break that down, and then I'll put that in there. Hopefully before the other cycle starts. But it's nice to have, you know, my deep freeze right beside my freeze dryer because that's easy easy to get in there so where am i oh hi hi talk about good camera work Ta -da! here i am peekaboo <laughs> so anyway uh that's the the white beans um <clears throat> i'm sure ken and la ken and la have your say whatever any of the white beans the little white beans and uh i like to do that with those because um <clears throat> what's really nice if you like white um, chili, um, that comes together super duper duper quick. If you, I mean, you could make the white chili and freeze dry it, um, or you can do this. I like to do this too because I can have white chili or I can 
whatever. I can just have beans, whatever I want, you know. So if it's just one item like that, you can add whatever you want to to it. So in this case, I'm just freezing them, the beans as white beans so that I can make whatever I want to out of them. So once those are done, I'll show you how that goes, and then uh, um, we'll rehydrate them and all that stuff. So <laughs> see you in a while. We're back. So the uh, freeze dryer just quit. Um, so we're, we're going to see what's going on there and then we'll get that out and get it bagged up and, and move forward. Um, it lets off a lot of heat since it's been in this little room. So uh, I had this door back here behind me open and then my husband, he opened the door that goes out into the hallway into the garage and all that to let the heat out because it, it got really hot in here. I was surprised. So anyway, here we go. Flip you around. <clears throat> so I took the pillow out earlier because I had to start it again because uh, I don't have it all the ice in there. Um, I, as, like I said, my unit's about six years old, so it doesn't look like there's too much on the side. It says it's been running 18 hours and 45. Um, <coughs> it hasn't been run that long because it's been on cool for a while. Probably about, a, eh, probably about an hour. So probably about 18 hours because I just haven't had time to get to it. <clears throat> That's the nice thing about it is it'll keep, it'll hold the food. Once it's done, it'll stop it. And then it just keeps, keeps it cold and everything or, you know, vacuumed or whatever you call it. Um, <clears throat> until it keeps it stable until you're ready to deal with it. So again, I'm going to go ahead and that little, if you can see it back here, that thing right there, I'm going to open that up. And what that'll do, if you watch right here, it will decompress the chamber. You'll see that rim. They'll let this been held real tight against that's in a vacuum seal right now. <coughs> so that'll let that'll let go. I un un did that so that'll that would have popped open if I'd have done it right. So I'll check the stuff. It feels feels dry to me. beans. I don't want to crush them up too much. <laughs> All right. So I think they're done. And then you can either <clears throat> say no defrost or more dry time or defrost. And I think today I'm going to go ahead and it's hot enough in here. I know I'm not even going to do a defrost. A lot of times I don't even do a defrost, which I'm not. So that turns the machine off. And then uh, I will take these out of here. Get them. Um, I think I'm going to jar them up. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and jar them up um, so that they're better protected because they're beans and they're you know so if I, I don't want you know how beans break down and like chili and things like that I don't want it to be real thick it will obviously but over time but um so I think I'm going to put those in quart whatever size jars I have quart jars or whatever they are excuse me and then I'll suck the uh air out of them um and then I'm going to put a um oxygen absorber in there too just to be safe but um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, there is a way to, <laughs> you can't do it right now because the vacuum, this thing has the, my vacuum seal, or, or shoot. <sighs> I haven't been up that long. <laughs> about, then I have about three hours, so. But anyway, um, the freeze dryer can actually be used to um, vacuum, seal your jars and stuff. So it's not real hard to do. I, I'm not going to do a video on that. I probably should, but I'm not going to. Um, but there is a real good one. Hey, what's his name? Retired at 40 on YouTube. He's really good. You want to see some good quality videos. That's, that's who you go see. <laughs> I'm a goofball. I'm just doing this, you know. So I think he made his living after, out of the bed after a while. So I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, after retired 40 guy. Um, but he does some really good videos and he does show, really good stuff so um a lot of t uh he's a real techie guy too so does recipes and uh, all kinds of tech stuff to do with the freeze dryer if you're into that i'm just i'm just a simple me <laughs> so but anyway i'm gonna take care of these beans i'll get them bagged up and stuff and then uh i'll show you that and then we'll throw them in some water and let you see how easy they um, rehydrate okay all right <clears throat> so here they are <clears throat> Excuse me, I only got three, three trays because the, remember the other one had the ham pieces in it. So that's what I think this coloration on the, the beans is, is where the, I think there's, 
the ham grease, whatever you want. Now this, let's see how this one turned out. This actually has a big old chunk of ham, ham hot. Oh. Huh, that's surprising. I'm white. Yeah. I should have broke that out before I put it in there, but I didn't. I was curious at how I would. Feels like it's dry. It's hard. <laughs> hard to break up. Yeah. Yeah, no. Not, yet. Not quite. Okay. Well, maybe. Can't tell. Yeah, let me grab a knife. Right, see if I can how can I do this without putting everything else up, huh? There we go. There we go. And it's still cold in the center, so I'm gonna pull this out. This part still got some coldness in it, so I'm gonna set it to the side because that's cold. And yeah, that is too. Um it ain't dry, so Darn it. No, I'll, I'll throw this in something today. Maybe I'll make my own. Maybe I'll have some beef soup today. Just that. Why not? That's not right. Show them what we're going to do. So, check to see if everything's dry. If it's dry, and then you can proceed to do whatever you're doing with it. And I kind of, I don't know if you've segmented these. <coughs> Tried to do it in the fours, but. I guess it doesn't matter because we'll put it in here. Well, I'll know probably about how many. Like that's probably a serving right there, I would say. So, it'll kind of give me an idea how many servings are in this jar. <laughs> okay, I don't want to break it up because I don't want to break my beans up. These little pieces of ham and in those feel dry. Hope they're dry. Find out later when I. So you get the idea. Um, no, it might be about two servings. Okay, that'd be perfect for me and my husband. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna say one of these jars is holding me holding two servings. Which, I'm gonna say about a cup when it's watered down or rehydrated. And you see how there's this, that can't be uh, avoided. You're gonna have some, when you're breaking this, taking the stuff off of the trays, you're gonna have some of that stuff powder that gets the pressure on it. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I've got two servings right there. I'll put my lid on it. And then I'll, I'll uh, what do you call that? Using my food cha chamber, my food saver, my chamber vac to suck the air out of those. <clears throat> so, yeah. And then what I'll do with these, since I'm going to have to eat that ham that didn't freeze dry all the way, it's still kind of frozen in the middle. Um, I think I'll go ahead and just rehydrate a whole, whole thing of this so you guys can see how it goes. How does that sound? We'll do that in a minute. Let me do this one here and then I'll pause you and get the rest of these done because you want to get them taken care of as soon as possible. You don't want them sitting, you know, in the air, suck, suck, bleh. You don't want to sit them in the air, pulling all that water and moisture back into them. This is definitely going to be more of a thicker soup, bean soup. With all that crumbling. Alright, anyway, so you get the idea on that, I'm going to pause you, take care of these other two trays, and then we'll, we'll uh, rehydrate. Hang with me. Alright, I got one, two, three, four, um, I think these, I don't know if these are quarts or what they are, I think they're quarts, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, that's how big they are in my hand, for you tech people out there. Um, I have my glasses on. It says on the side, but I can't read it. Uh, whatever it is. Anyway, <laughs> I got four of those out of that. 
So those who go up my cabinet in the dark, cool place, um, you don't want them in the hot. Okay. So, and then here's our little, our little bowl. And you know me, I'm real good at putting too much, <laughs> too much water and stuff. So I'm going to try to be real careful today. You got to be careful when you're using meats with anything, um, canning, whatever. So freeze drying, freeze drying is the same thing. Um, you know, so I haven't done a lot of it, but I've done enough that I feel pretty comfortable with it. Um, with the pork and beans, it's like that I'll, we'll be wary of that. That's why I took that out there. Everything else seemed really dry, so I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I got a lot of, I got the end parts of the trays, so that's why this looks so lovely, but those will have the bean structure in it. All right, here we go. Ready? Woohoo. I'm just gonna do a little bit, you know, I mean my little bit. It's always too much usually. I think one time I'm gonna go with that. And then we'll just move it around a little bit. Just so it can suck it up. And I may have may have done too much with this too. I don't know. So I'm gonna let that sit for yeah, a few minutes. And then we'll come back and see what it did. But you can see it's already rehydrating pretty quickly. So I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll we'll see what happened with it. That's what it's doing right now. That's what beans, they tend to rehydrate fairly quickly. So, mm. all right, give it a minute. Okay, it's been about three minutes, maybe more. So you can see how thick that got already. <clears throat> so I could add more, um, I could add more water to it if I wanted to, or chicken broth or whatever. Sometimes I'll do that. Um, you know, watch the broths because sometimes they can be a little salty and it can kind of ruin whatever you're doing. So. Um, I did add a little salt to this, but you could use that in, um, what is that called? Oh, like a refried beet bean or, I don't know, whatever else you put those type of beans in. Um, burritos, you know, white taco chili, just eat it like that. Use it to thicken stuff up. There's a little, I think I need a little <laughs> A little bit more water in there because I'm <clears throat> flavor's good, but I'm biting into something that didn't quite rehydrate, but very doable. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water to that and I'll eat the rest of that. But yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. I really enjoyed that. There's sometimes there's some of the freeze dried food, <clears throat> and like I said, like the green beans, um, they're good, but the ones that I there were in a can, um, when I freeze dried freeze dried those and we ate them, they had, taste like grass. It was just a really strong, tastes like what I assume grass tastes like, <laughs> you know, how it smells. Um, it wasn't bad. It just was really strong. <clears throat> so, um, you definitely get the flavor of whatever it is you're, you're eating once you freeze dry it. So, um, maybe I just never had a good, good, uh, taste of a green bean before, even out of my garden. I don't think my garden green beans tasted quite that strong. So, anyway, it's pretty good. So, um, we'll put the, um, suck the air out of those, the oxygen absorber in it, which I don't really think I need to, but I will if I, you know, vacuum the air out of them. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't hurt to be extra safe. And like I said, they say if your food, if it smells funny or tastes funny, it's going to taste a little different because of, you know, you did dry it out. Um, but it, you know, if it smells funny or tastes funny, don't eat it. Um, but I mean, I've had good luck so far. Um, had some apples a while back that, um, when I did that taste test with my sisters, <laughs> they're sitting there going, cause I, which I should have checked it before I gave it to them. But anyway, <clears throat> they didn't die. They're still alive. <laughs> I don't know. As far as I know. No, they're still, I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> but anyway. Um, they weren't crisp. Those apples were not crisp. That's why they couldn't figure out what the hell they were. So <clears throat> I tried one after that too, and I know they're supposed to be crisp, even though it was chewy. And I was like, ooh. So yeah, if they're not, if the food's not dry and it's not, you know, crispy like that, um, that's moist or like fruits are pliable and any, you know, that kind of thing, it's not good. Don't, don't eat it. <laughs> don't use it. I did, um, avocados one time and I probably still have some in there which I will throw out I'll try them I'll see if they're but mostly or likely they're they're not any good either um, 
<clears throat> but uh, I did the avocados. I'm not a big avocado person, but I did the avocados and I actually like them freeze dried because they have like a nutty taste plus the texture. I, I don't like the avocado fresh texture, um, that creaminess. Anyway, uh, those were good. And then I opened them up about you know, six months later. They were still um, basically crispy like they should have been. They were, they were a little bit less than that. So I, I thought, well, maybe. And then when I bit into them, expecting that nice, crunchy, nutty taste that I had gotten with, you know, right when they were very freshly pulled out of the um, ultra freeze dryer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, that's bad. So they'd gone rancid. So I, it was, that was me. I did something wrong. So um, definitely make sure you watch your food, um, no matter how you preserve it. Make sure it's, you know, tastes right, smells right, looks right. Um, and obviously, like canning and stuff like that, sometimes you can't, you can't tell. I, I've heard that. I don't know if that's true because I'm, yeah. But anyway, just whatever you're using to preserve your food, make sure that you're checking it to make sure it's still good after you get it out of the containers once it's been preserved for a while. Um, always, no matter what, no matter where you get food, food safety. But anyway, so yeah, there's our white beans. So ready for white chili or whatever else I want to, bean burritos or whatever I want to put them in. So anyway, hope you found that useful in some way. Um, if not, I hope you get, got a good laugh at me or something. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later. See you next time. Bye. I forgot to, <clears throat> I forgot to say too, um, you know how long it takes to cook beans. Um, we already had them cooked. So you saw how fast that was too. So it definitely makes for quick meals after work or whatever, which I, know, I like that. So I forgot to mention, I think that I mentioned that in other videos and stuff, but it's kind of nice. You got foods that take rice, this stuff, steel cut oats, things that take a long time to cook. Well, when you freeze dry it, <laughs> you can cook it ahead of time, freeze dry it. And then when you're ready to eat it, just, just add water. You know what I mean? So that definitely makes, um, a nice, healthy, fast food. <laughs> See you next time.